What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Nakari Weeps, as you hear. And today, we have a review on Fire Force Episode 8. Now, now, no, your subscription box is not tripping. No, your subscriber count is not tripping. This is Episode 8 and not Episode 1. And I started with Episode 8 because I've been watching it on the low. You know, I haven't really been promoting it that much. But, you know, basically, I've gotten back in the swing of things. And every time I watch an episode of Fire Force, I will be doing a review on it. So, here we go. Episode 8. And episode 9 should be coming out next week, if I'm correct. Anyway, let's get into it. So basically, this episode, pretty much some good fire shit. No pun intended. By the way, there's going to be a lot of fire puns here, obviously. Anyway, so the episode pretty much starts off as everybody, like, uh, getting the feel of everything. Uh, the 8th Company is pretty much just like, oh, wow, there's a traitor or whatever among us. But we need to find out which one is it. And then you see the quote-unquote knight doing his thing. But, you know, he, he changed jobs now. And he's an assassin, but psych, he's really a knight still. Yeah, this is really basically just like filler information for some fucking reason. They decided to just like cut from the important stuff and just give us a little bit of weirdness and goofing off. Anyway, so anyway, we cut to the main character, old discount soul looking ass dude over here. He's all like, oh yeah, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna let the first company take care of the Inferno or we take care of the culprit. Which is actually kind of smart. I'll give him that because, you know, they don't know. They, just, they don't know the land of it. And that's basically what the other dude's saying. He was all like, do you know the dude who just all like, oh, likes to repeat himself, but not really repeating himself, but just change the way he repeats himself? You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all watch the show. Anyway, so, um, yeah, then we cut to to, to Lieutenant Rekka, and uh, uh, I forgot, I really just pronounced his name earlier. You, you, you know the girl, the, the, the bunny fire lady, or the cat fire lady, or whatever her name is. I forgot. Tomaki, that's, there it is, there it is. Tomaki and, and uh, Lieutenant Rekka, basically there was, she believes that uh, he was like this nice gentle savior or whatever, really powerful, really nice guy, you know, all positive and uh, outgoing, outspoken and stuff like that, but in reality he's kind of like a crazy lunatic trying to experiment on kids and stuff to find someone for the blah 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 blah, uh, insert discount whatever prophecy you want to insert in there. You, you know the gist of it. basically he's crazy and he's doing this to children try to quote unquote save them or whatever the infernos or whatever it turns out he's been the one who's making those bitch count infernos and the reason why they're you know combusting or whatever but then he uh he he finds this he, he grabs this one kid from the group he's with you know you know uh, beside oh yeah by the way I, I probably skipped over this but i didn't mean to but anyway basically he he, he knocks out lieutenant tamaki by giving putting the squeeze on her basically bear hugging her to submission so yeah that was nice ish um, well i mean obviously it wasn't nice but you know it was a nice little input you know i'm sorry that i forgot to put that in there. anyway he he puts it in front of the kid and um it actually works somewhat the kid doesn't die basically or becomes an inferno. It turns out he's compatible with the whatever. What I really did forget this whatever the fuck possibly whatever. Anyway, he's compatible with it. He's all getting excited about it because he's still an outgoing person. He's still, but he's just you know crazy as shit. Anyway, so he's all like, "Yep," yeah, but the rest of you kids aren't off the hook either. Y'all all finna get tested with this junk. And then uh, she's all like, "Stop! I believed in you." He's like, "Oh, believed? Nigga, you still do now?" And I'm like, "This nigga really tripping, like." Like in my head, I'm like, this dude is losing his his mind right now. Like literally losing his cry. He, he's losing it, and he's screaming a lot and stuff. He's really he's really annoying now than what he was before. I kind of liked him earlier, you know. I, I liked his character, like for real, for real. But I'm pretty sure I like, once the main character busts through there, <laughs> all Kool Aid Man style. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be over with for the guy, if you're being honest. And uh, that's pretty much what happens right after Tomki, you know, sends her little flare into the sky with her power and stuff like that. Or like somebody help us. And then, uh, of course, old dude comes through crashing all Kool-Aid man style, green and all. And stomps on this man's face and burns it. By the way, that should totally kill him. Especially with the impact of which he crashed on there. But no, I'm not going to get all sciencey on them. They're all fire people, so it really doesn't matter in the day. And I guess fire makes you invulnerable to getting your head smashed into, like, jelly. Anyway... Pretty nice, not gonna lie. The episode was really good, and of course, it was animated really good. Like, I can't stress this enough. I do love the Soul Eater art style of it, and it's really unique and nostalgic for me personally. And in the green alone, you know, the devil, or as, you know, a devil as they like to call this guy. I, I like his quirk of him with this really malicious grin, like he's just gonna eat somebody alive, as the, as one of his higher ups uh, said to him earlier. 
anyway this was a nice little reaction i mean review uh like comment subscribe let me know what y'all thought of it of the episode and uh yeah leave any comments no spoilers in the comments please uh, i'm actually watching it beat for beat now so yeah later guys it's been real guys see y'all in the next video bye